Hi, I'm the Intuitive Healer, and today I'll be doing a tarot card reading for the sign of Scorpio. Now, I've already pre-shuffled the deck, and I'll be using the Sun and Moon Tarot deck today for you, Scorpio. All right, so we have the Justice card that comes up first, the Queen of Wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Prince of Cups and the Four of Swords. Um, next is the King of Cups. We've got the Five of Swords, Nine of Swords, Three of Cups, and the Prince of Pentacles. All right, so the first card signifies um, coming to terms with something. Um, the reason being, you know, the Justice card uh, can also be a card of karma. Um, but it's also when somebody does something wrong to you, um, you know, getting justice for the pain and suffering um, that you allowed to come in. And so sometimes that's what the justice card uh, can signify. It can signify also um, karma. Karma. Okay. So the next card is the Queen of Wands, and you know, she's holding her fire up. She's just taking control of her life or his life. And so it's interesting um, that these two cards come side to side um, because I think that it is a rediscovery. So this is an ending or paying some karmic debt in some way um, and then rising up from that or rising away from the karma or the drama from a situation. And then the next card is the Seven of Pentacles, and that kind of spells failure. So I feel like there was some failure in a past relationship, and so that's what this is signifying to me, is that, you know, somebody paid for karma. Somebody got some karma, and you prevail past that. Okay, and then, of course, you know, there's emotions because this woman is, you know, seven of pentacles. She's like in the water, playing with the water. And anytime we have water there, you know, it's either an emotional uh, distress or some type of failure. So that is the failure card. Okay, and so the next one is the Prince of Cups. And so this is really wanting to move forward in something, um, really asking for some open doors for love here, okay? And so, of course, Four of Swords is dealing with the past, dealing with the, your emotions, knowing what you don't want in a relationship, and knowing what you do want in a relationship. So the next card is the King of Cups, so wanting that King of Cups to ride in and rescue you, okay? All right, and then the Five of Swords. Uh, well, because you defeated that person in the past. You decided that you weren't going to hold on to any of that drama, that pain, uh, that hurt that this other person was doing to you. And so you let that go because, well, you're in the energy of the King of Cups and you want a King of Cups to come in, okay? Okay or a queen of cups to come in. All right, and so the nine of swords is like the last relationship or the past relationship. The person was really, really mean to you. They were really cruel to you. And it's, you know, I say it's it's in a space of real rediscovery, reaffirming, telling yourself, hey, you know, I don't like it when people treat other people bad. I mean, this is definitely signifying that, okay? And then, you know, because you're in awareness of all these endeavors and all this um, transformational, emotional shifting that's happening, you know, it does create some space for abundance. So you've got some abundance coming in here because there were some really, really good lessons that were learned and you got through it. Yeah, you got through it. Um, but sometimes you're still, you know, a little sad over that. But if somebody comes in and tries to mess with you again like that, you're going to butt them in the head. So, you know, I don't think you're going to take any of that nonsense. And we all know that, 
you know, you scorn a Scorpio, you're going to get bit. It's just the way it is, okay? And so for that reason, well, you know, there's some strife that comes in. Strife is here. Okay, so some fighting in the past with that past relationship. You're like, God, all you want to do is fight with me. All you want to do is create drama around my life. And I'm really sick and tired of that. I'm really tired of it. I want all of this to end. There's a tower moment here. Somebody's going to have to get clear about what they want so that new stuff can come in, so that that Knight of Cups can come right in. And so the Tower card is like somebody falling from grace, you know? Maybe a breakup, or maybe you took your power back and you verbalized your truth and said, hey, look, you're not gonna talk to me like that anymore. You're going to treat me with respect and you're gonna value me, okay? So that's where the three of pentacles comes in. There's works happening. The universe is moving. All kinds of different stuff for you so that they can attach you and align you with your sacred partnership because you are the empress or the emperor. And so with that being said, there is a strong, powerful, grounding energy here that says, I need something new in my life. I don't want to repeat the past and have another situation with someone where they beat me up all the time verbally with their words or, you know, they're real shady and they, they don't tell me where they're going or, you know, maybe they don't return my text for a couple days. I mean, who's to say what, what's going on here, Scorpio, with them? But I feel that energy. I feel that energy because... You know, the Empress card comes up. That means you're taking your power back. That means you're honoring yourself. You're connecting with nature. You're connecting to your higher self, Scorpio. So let me pull a couple more cards here. Um, just to get, kind of get an overall, yeah, there's some sadness from the past. But because of that sadness, you know, there's a rectification here because there is success right behind it. And again, the Hangman. But this is a little bit different because what this is signifying to me is, is that this person kept you in a lot of sorrow. Boy, they really had you sad all the time. You're probably wondering, why am I with this person? You know, and the hangman's right below it. It's like somebody's going to have to pay for this. Somebody needs to stop doing this to other people. Controlling. Controlling. We've got the Eight of Swords. It says interference, but to me, this is a control card. That person was very, very controlling. And so you decided that you were going to get past that, acknowledge yourself in, as a valuable person, and, you know, you were going to cut all that emotion out because you're like, I don't need that. I don't want to sit in that energy anymore. I want my king of cups or my queen of cups. And I want somebody to come in that's really got some integrity. That's really defines themselves in a higher frequency. Defines themselves as a person that's very loyal and honest. And so for that reason, we have the Prudence card, which is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles comes up and it's like, I'm just going to pick my own flowers. You know, the Prudence card to me signifies this wanting and, you know, this nurturing spirit of this person and wanting to attach to somebody that's just like you, Scorpio, that has the same ideal system, has the same love language is very successful. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on here with this Prudence card. Well, and that brings me to the very last card. You know, you got through all of this stuff. You got through all of this stuff, you know, and it was hard and you were crying and maybe there were some sleepless nights or maybe there were nights where you're like, where is this person? They were supposed to be here hours ago. So, 
for that reason, you decided that in the meantime of waiting for that person to figure out that they valued you, you realize something about yourself, that there was nothing in that situation that you really needed anymore. So it created an abundance of success for you and opened doors of prosperity and abundance. Because you're like, I'm taking my power back. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna take my power back. I'm not gonna do this anymore. I'm good. So three more cards here. Magician, yeah. Really, really contemplating everything surrounding every aspect of who you are. You're really redefining yourself here. Ace of Wands is lighting up the fire in your soul, really igniting that flame within you so that you can move forward and get past all this nonsense and all this drama that you've been through. Because you want the Ten of Cups. You want romance, you want love. You don't want it the way it was in that past relationship, Scorpio. So I'm gonna pull three cards here to kind of give me an idea of really um, what the situation is and why this energy is like there and what maybe we need to know about it, okay? All right, here we go. All right, don't let your past hold you back. There you go. You are good enough, Scorpio. Fierce climax approaches and your emotions are running high because of it. Don't let the past hold you back, Scorpio. This person, there's, there's really nothing that you need to connect with this person because you're good. You're good enough. Don't let people treat you like that and make you not valuable. You're very valuable. You know, and, and this person had your emotions running so high. You were sad. Scorpio, you've got that light inside of you. And so, you know what? That success factor is coming right in because it says a fiery climax approaches. That's a success card to me. Wow, this is amazing. Well, thank you so much, Scorpio, for letting me do your reading. And please, you know, let go of the old stuff. Make some, make some space for the new stuff so that that energy can come right in. You know, when we get devalued by a partner, there are some significant things that we need to do with ourselves. And that's coming back in. That's coming back to ourselves and finding that self-love and that, that rediscovery and, and, and acknowledging that we deserve more that we, we're more valuable and we need someone with integrity to match that value with us, okay? Well, thank you so much again for letting me do your reading and I appreciate all of your love and all your donations that you guys send me and I just really wanna put my heart out there and say, you're gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, Scorpio. It's just a little emotional right now. And once you get over that hill of that emotion, well, it's smooth sailing and you've got that abundance coming right in. So I'm happy about that for you. And I look forward to doing more readings for you. So please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I love you so much. Thank you again. Namaste.